getting started, you need your fabric, double fold bias tape, a clip buckle, a zipper, webbing, your pattern, and the pattern is available at properfitclothing.com, and a sewing machine. We're doing this all in a single heavy duty. Start by placing your back panel on the fold of your fabric, trace it, and cut it out. Take your pocket panel, place it on the fold, trace it, and cut it out. Now go on and do the same thing with your front panel. your front side panel, trace it, cut it out, and make sure you end up with two. Now do the same thing with the flat panel. So you should end up with one front panel, one pocket panel, one back panel, two flaps, and two side panels. So we're going to start by hemming the pocket panel, and we're going to do about a quarter inch hem. So fold it over and do a stitch all the way across. Okay, next we're going to attach the pocket to the front panel. All you have to do is mark the centers of both and sew exactly down the center. A quick and easy way to find the center is just fold it in half and then go ahead and mark it with chalk. Next we're going to add the zipper, all you have to do is take the right side of the zipper and place it on the right side of the front panel. Make sure you have your zipper foot on and go ahead and stitch all the way across. To make this look a little bit more clean, we're going to go ahead and top stitch that. So next we're going to be adding the flap. And all you have to do is mark the center and mark the center of your front panel. Go ahead, line it up, and then start at the center of where you marked it and work towards the outside.
and again to make it look more clean and stronger go ahead and add a top stitch on that seam Now we're going to be adding the front side panels, super simple, just lay it on the side to the right sides together and stitch all the way across. Now to clean up that seam on the inside, we're going to add some double fold bias tape. And this is pre-made. Check the description for a link. Super simple to use. All you do is unfold it, lay it over the seam, and sew it on. Now we're gonna be adding the bottom flap and same goes for the top. All you do is mark the centers and start from the center and sew towards the outsides. Now we're going to get the webbing ready, so cut a piece about 8 inches, feed it through the female end of your clip, and then go ahead and sew it right at the end. Now that you have your clip and webbing ready, go ahead and touch the outside of the front panel. You'll want to sew right on that edge. Now for the other half of the webbing, we cut this about 34 inches. You can go bigger if you want just to be safe. We found this is plenty to go around the waist and also around your shoulders. Then go ahead and do the same thing, place it on the edge and sew. Now 
Now before we go any further, we're going to do a quick top stitch on the bottom flap. I really recommend top stitching, it adds for more strength and just an overall better look. Now we're going to be adding the back panel and it's fairly simple all you have to do is lay over right sides together line up the corners and go ahead and sew all the way around and we kind of work in sections we'll sew the sides and then we'll sew the bottom and the top it works a little bit easier that way i think but if you want to go all the way around in one full stitch you can go right on and do that And then just like before, go ahead and add your double fold bias tape all the way around the outside. We went all the way around with one stitch. I kind of recommend doing it in sections. It makes it a little bit easier around the corners and might look a little bit more neat. Now go ahead and flip your bag right side out. Now we're going to add the other half of the buckle, so go ahead and grab the long side of your webbing and just feed it through. Pull the end through enough so you can take that raw edge, fold it over twice, and do a top stitch keeping the buckle from coming off and also covering up that raw edge. And there you have it, your fanny pack shoulder bag is done. This is a super fun, easy pattern to use. Go out there, get some crazy fabrics, make some awesome ones. Tag us on Instagram. And thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and let us know what you think. And we'll see you next time.